I think we're at a moment in time in science and medicine where we have the opportunity to no longer accept that people have diseases. We're really at the start of a revolution in medicine. We can cure human diseases. And this is not a fantasy, it's actually now a reality. When my husband was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, I felt, you know, my life was never going to be the same or his. My whole life, I thought I was going to be a professional football player. And on September 10th, 1994, I went in to make my 24th tackle of the day. And I had a C4, C5 implosion of the vertebrae. And that rendered me paralyzed. I had a normal pregnancy, normal delivery, and then when she was about 12 hours old, they said, oh, she's a little cold. She was born with a single ventricle. Katie's heart just beats once with a huge beat. If you took a stethoscope to her, it's quite an interesting sound. At Gladstone, we have two missions. The first is to solve some of humankind's most devastating diseases and bring them to cures. And the second is to train the next generation of scientific leaders. We are in an era where biology can help patients in ways that have never really been possible before. Disease has two fundamental causes. Either cells have been lost and need to be replaced, or they've malfunctioned and need to be fixed. Because of discoveries pioneered by Gladstone scientists, we can now do both. Reprogram our cells to reverse damage or decay and actually edit the code of life to cure disease. Combined with giant leaps in the power of AI, we can now see more deeply into the causes of disease and move faster, several magnitudes faster than ever before a lab doing an experiment in an animal model or a cell line might be able to investigate one hypothesis every couple of years. In my lab, using computational approaches, we can test millions of hypotheses in one day. We have three world-class universities all sitting right around us, Berkeley, Stanford, and UCSF. And it's by putting all those together that we're really able to make the breakthroughs that will lead to new treatments for patients. That's the value of our partnerships. Beginning as a handful of labs in 1979, Gladstone has become one of the world's leading research institutions, home to more than 600 researchers from nearly 40 different countries in the birthplace of breakthrough technologies. Biologists, chemists, disease experts, data scientists, ranging from graduate students to Nobel laureates, all working together with a single purpose, to overcome disease. Taking a risk in science means not that you might fail. It means that you've tried at something that others were probably not willing to try. I particularly cherish that we are not doing all the same thing. Having cardio, neuro, data science, and immunologists is extremely stimulating because we can collaborate with them. We've been able to collect the best scientists in the world to work together with expertise seamlessly flowing between the laboratories. I don't think there has ever been a more exciting time in neuroscience than now. We've seen successes in the clinic now that allow the brain to recover and repair itself. Bit by bit, we're getting closer, and Alzheimer's will be like any other disease that we have found chemistry for to defeat. My daughter would not have survived without this research, so I'm very passionate about it. If more people knew what was being done and how that was really, I mean, not to be too grand, helping mankind. You hear about the Industrial Revolution, but this is going to be the Medical Revolution. We know every day that we can speed up our discoveries means thousands of lives we can save. For some diseases, we have passed the half point. Now we can see the goal. But for many other diseases, the race has just started. We need to run multiple races at the same time. We are tough, <laughs> but we need support. 
funding that allows us to take risks, to build our team, to scale things up, to go after bold ideas. We're marching towards progress now. We can sprint towards it with this campaign.